hi everyone my name is Tim welcome to Photoshop beginners class so today we are on using a link tool so in this tutorial I will explain to you how you can make use of your healing tools to remove pimples on um, your image so you can use healing tools like um, your spot healing tools you can we, we I will introduce you to how to use your spot healing tools your um, patch tools how to use content aware tools also so we we'll use all this and uh, this um okay let's look okay we we'll use our spot healing tools part tools and content aware tools to remove spots from this image so this is a free image downloaded online so you can see this is an image with a lady that has spots on her face so we are starting with our um spot healing tools so let's start with our spot healing brush tools now so you click on it now bringing it now we want to use our spot healing tools to remove these pimples on this lady's face so we are, what we are going to do now is let's zoom in so we zoom in we zoom okay so i actually have an image zoomed already now i will have to increase the size of my brush so you can just come here click on size you can increase the size your preferred choice so just try and press enter so you can just remove then what i'm going to do with this in spot healing tool is just rub it just long press then rub it just rub the location and you have your spot removed so let's zoom out back so you can see the spot has been removed now with our spot healing tools so you can use that to remove any spot from any uh, from any image so let's undo command z if you are using windows pc you should be familiar with it you press your ctrl z so let's try another tool let's try our healing brush tools actually i didn't really like using these tools much because it's yeah sometimes it always gets complicated it's, it works like your clone stamp tools if you are familiar with your clone stamp tools before you it will be much more easier for you to use this healing brush now now let's zoom in again now we click on our alt key so you now pick um from this scan now you have to pick from the nearest um color that is you have to click click from the skin that has the nearest stone to the locate to the exact location where you want to remove the spot from now you can see this area is much more closer to this this area is closer but you cannot compare me picking from this area you can see this area is is lighter than the rest that sorry it's lighter than the um, than the spot that than the look area where i want to replace with the spot so what i'm going to do now is i will come to the nearest i think this place is okay click on my alt key click on it and i've picked already so i've picked from our uh, uh, it's just it works like uh, stamp clone tools i've picked already then you come to where you want to put it on and you cover it up exactly just as simple as that so you can just cover it up and you have a perfect result so you can also make use of these tools to remove your pimples so let's undo okay so now let's try our patch tools i actually like these tools so much what makes me to love uh, using patch tools i use if, I want, if i'm working on a project and there's necessity for me to remove pimples i prefer using patch tools or content aware tools so one of the reasons why i prefer using these tools is that it's always give me the privilege firstly i will have the privilege to, for selection so now after selecting i cannot drag it to any of my private area so let's make it practical now so let's zoom in again now i sorry now i will have to draw out you just long press and start drawing i'm not pressing any key on my keyboard so we have to draw out now i've made the selection of the unwanted pimples from the guest face now so what i'm going to do now is to now drag it to my private area which i want the area that i want to use to replace the pimples area so let me just drag it here good good then ctrl d for the select you can see i have a perfect remover so it always give me a, it's always a perfect let's zoom out it's always a perfect job for me so that's why i prefer using it so let's undo back now let's try our content aware tools content aware tools so let's zoom in again now let's select again so now let's give the pimples area selection then what we are going to do now here after using your content aware to select you click on delete on your keyboard also click on delete a dialog box like this will show for you so let me zoom in. so you can see this is a dialog box the default setting is there already the opacity is 100 percent the mode is normal the color adapt uh, uh, adaptation is on also so you now click on ok 
and automatically you have your pimples removed let's click on ctrl d command d for the select so good so that's those are the three four methods that i normally make use of to remove pimples from my image so let's now try on the rest of the image and that's all for this tutorial so i we already used content aware to remove this so let's try another tools to remove this also okay i prefer using this because it's always faster it's always faster i didn't have to, you know you just it's just a single click you didn't i didn't have to be pressing any delete anything i think i still let me just reduce the brush i actually press um brackets on my keyboard i didn't know the name for that bracket not the bracket on the on the figure part but the bracket at the front of p so i didn't name of that i didn't know the name of that two bracket at the front of p but that's what i used to increase that's the shortcut i used to increase the size of my brush and decrease the size but in case you didn't get that you can just increase and decrease the size from here so you can just see but on your keyboard at the front of p you will see two brackets so that's the bracket that i do use so now let me reduce the size again click on it here clear it off for me clear it off so you can see okay we still have something here okay so let me reduce the brackets to the sorry reduce the size to the smallest i hope this is perfect from afar okay good we only have the iron shadow so you can see the picture is neat now and we have remove the background we sorry we have removed the um pimples from the guest so let's open the picture again okay oh sorry let's go through the picture again on the screen okay we didn't have any glitch here okay we have we still have some no no so now the picture is perfect now so we actually remove the um we actually remove all spots from this image using our spot healing tools our spot healing tools we use spot healing tools your healing brush your path tools and your content aware tools so thank you very much you can follow me on my um social media at ahmed timothy you can also subscribe to my youtube channel and keep your notification on for more video on adobe photoshop and on graphic design generally thank you very much see you in my next video